Welcome to Plus Politics right here on Plus TV Africa. My name is Kofi Bartels. Uh, on Tuesday, 10 All Progressives Congress governorship aspirants or aspirants in River State to sign a pact to support whoever emerges from the party as its standard bearer in the 2023 general elections. Uh, Chibika Mechi led faction of the party in the state uh, is insisting that the governorship ticket will go to the River Rhine part of the state now joining us to discuss this as a former director general of the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency and a one time uh, governorship candidate of the All Progressives Congress in River State. Uh, he has also previously been a member of the Federal House of Representatives, uh, Dr. Dakuku Peterside. Good evening to you. Good evening, Kofi, and good evening, right. viewers. Nice to have you join us today. I've looked at the, um, the communique by by these 10 aspirants, um, and you're there. Uh, True, fact. W why was there a need for the aspirants on the platform of the All Progressives Congress to come out in such a manner? Thank you very much. If you have followed the history of elections in River State, particularly um, the primaries of the ruling party, is been most rancorous. And not only is it rancorous, at the end of the day, very at the end of the day, whoever emerges as candidate sees himself serving a section of society instead of serving all reverse people. We thought that that wasn't good politics. It's high time we put the interests of reverse first above every other consideration. We are one of the most endowed states in the country. Uh, we've got very talented people, yet we have not optimized the benefits of our endowment okay. because of the nature of our politics. Okay. There is a correlation between politics and development in all its dimensions. And so we met among ourselves and started talking to ourselves on the need to be united in our shared vision. Okay. on the need to have a peaceful, orderly, credible process that would throw up a candidate. Okay. And that when such a candidate emerges, all of us need to rally around that candidate to run with a pan-reverse vision, a vision that will give every reverse man limitless opportunity to achieve his best potentials. And that was the driving force behind the meeting of minds that led to that communique. Interesting, interesting. And, and of course, this is calling on the, the, um, uh, the governorship position, uh, the aspirants, they say they're going to support whoever uh, comes out at the end of the day. Is there, is this, does this mean that there will be a consensus candidate at the end of the process? Now, um, both Electoral Act and our, the constitution of our party um, made provision for different methods okay. of choosing a candidate. It could be through direct primaries, indirect primaries, or consensus. That's the provision of the Electoral Act. Now, our party constitution has its own provisions. As a, as a people, we realize as aspirants okay. that only one person can be a candidate at a time, and ultimately one person will become governor of River State. And we are convinced beyond any shred of doubt that the next governor of the university will be elected on the platform of the All Progressive Congress. And so we have agreed that the leader of the party in the state has a key role to play to midwife the process as progressive aspirants. So you're talking about the, the Honorable Minister of Transportation. That's the leader of the party. Image, image. Okay. All right. And we agreed amongst ourselves as progressive aspirants that have the interest of River State, that are passionate about the development of River State, that are desirous to see the end hmm. of the mess that we, are, we currently have in rivers. The misgovernance, the bad leadership that we have in rivers. We agreed among ourselves that we must have a process in place that will throw up one of us. And as we do, we must all rally around that person. Okay. I think the bigger interest is to achieve the river state of our dream 
and bequeath the river state of our dream to a new generation of rivers people. That's key. Okay. All right. Inter interesting. Um, uh, what about the issue of zoning? Because uh, this has been another uh, contentious issue in River State. You know, we have the upline river and dichotomy uh, or arrangement. Um, tell us about this this decision. If, if it, in, it is indeed true that at that meeting of the aspirants, um, there was a decision taken to zone the governorship uh, ticket on the on in the APC to the river and Ijo. Uh, can you expand? I, I, I can explain this to you. Um, I will not say that the party has officially zoned the governorship uh, of River State to the River and the Jaws. There's an understanding um, among the leadership of the party that it is only fair, just, and equitable that the governorship should move to the River Rhine the Jaws. The River Rhine part of the state is inhabited by the Jaws, and thank God it's, it's monolithic. One language speaking group, the Jaws, that's an understanding. And you can see that a pattern has emerged. All 10 aspirants for now that have indicated interest are from the riverine it just talk of the state. That does not foreclose those who are not from that area from okay. aspiring. Okay. They have right to aspire. Forms are still on sale. Forms? No, well, we have not even commenced the sale of forms. Oh, you've not commenced So they are protected forms. by okay. the constitution okay. of the country, constitution of our party. Nobody's going to stop them from aspiring. But the mood of the state, the dominant opinion, the spirit in the state is that governorship should shift to the riverine Ijo part of the state. That's in our party. And I believe that that is the desire of most reverse people. Okay. Okay. Interesting. So uh, um, uh, um, this is, this is a, uh, uh, an interesting development. Uh, I have never seen the All Progressives Congress since it was uh, formed, Be created disunited. Yeah, in, in River State. It's a new, it's yeah. a new era. And you, you have uh, quite a number of names there. Uh, yourself, you have uh, Tonya Princewell, uh, who stood against you in 2015. Uh, you have the likes of um, uh, Tonya Co, who was the flag bearer in the last uh, election. Um, what about the, 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 the talk, you know, by, by, by you know, some, some persons in the state? Um, that this this so-called you know zoning formula um, should not be discussed on the basis of ethnicity, you know, because like you well know, in parts of River State, uh, you have both upland and river right, and they are saying that the zoning of the governorship ticket should be discussed on the basis of geopolitical zones, and I'm sure you are very sorry, um, senatorial districts, and I'm sure you're very well aware of that. Uh, you are from the River South East Senatorial District. Very correct. And you were the candidate of the All Progressives Congress in 2015. Very correct. Uh, after the the others had come, namely uh, uh, Peter Odili and of course um, Rotimi Amici. So, w what do you say to this this school of thought that the governorship position should rotate on the basis of of, of senatorial uh, zones? Now, you see, there is merit in the two schools of thought. Whether on the senatorial district basis, or on our geocultural political zone basis. The point, the core issue, is that in multi-ethnic societies, one way of promoting inclusiveness, peaceful coexistence, is that power should rotate from one area to the other. And so that is a common thread in the two arguments. Whether it is on senatorial zone basis or geocultural basis. Okay. And so that's a takeaway. All right. That both schools of thought support the fact that in multi-ethnic societies, you need to rotate power and to give people sense of belonging, inclusiveness, promote unity, stability, you know, and a peaceful coexistence that is established. Now, the second thing is that if you say you should rotate on the basis of geopolitical zone, you said it that on the basis of geopolitical zone, you have both the river line and the upland part of the state in all of the three uh, central districts. Yeah. That's also established. Now, the second dimension 
is on geocultural basis. Geocultural basis is that before now, rivers, people, you have two predominant um, cultural divide. The riverine divide. Okay. It might just be called riverine. Okay. They're actually predominant in jaws. Okay. So, so you're looking at Okrika, Okrika uh, Gobolo, Gobolo is a job. Um, of course, Opobo. Opobo is a job. Okay. Andon is a job. Okay. They are all predominant in jobs. Okay. Then on the up, the upland part, you have two dominant language groups. Okay. The what they call the Igboid okay. and the Ogonad. The Igboid group is made up of the Che, Omoma, the Orashi LGS, the Kwede LGS. Then the Ogonis. So, all along, before the present era, most of our politics was played along the line of cultural groups, language and cultural groups. Okay. And so, there's merit in the riverine upland dichotomy okay. based on culture. There's also merit in geopolitical or senatorial districts. But there's also an intersection between the two. So I think that the issues are not mutually exclusive. They are correlated. Okay. Okay. All right. So 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 they are correlated. Um, which which should should um obtain? Um, should it be the sectorial zoning arrangement, or should it be? Uh, you know where I'm coming from. <laughs> All right. Now <laughs> you know where I'm coming from. You know. So which should it be? Because um, there seems to be some some fire coming from. Uh, some quarters that it should be on, you know, geopolitical basis. Um, you know, or, 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 or senatorial basis. So, yes, yes. Uh, you had, um, for instance, Peter Lee came from a particular senatorial district. And then after that, Amechi came from one other senatorial district. And now it's the turn of River Southeast. And this, the, the, the talk is that you were presented as a candidate by the All Progressives Congress because you're from River Southeast. No, I, you know, I'd like to make this clear. I think that the most critical thing in rivers, like in many other states in the country, is can we produce a candidate that is competent, that's got character, that's a clear vision of how to turn around the state and put the state on the fast lane, put the state on the path of growth. That's the, the most critical element in this okay. whole debate. And you're sure the APC can and give that? I believe that you can find them both in the riverine part of the state and in the upland part of the state. You can find them in the three senatorial districts. And there can also be a marriage. If you want, it is also not fair that only the upland part of the state produces the governor all the time, not the riverine or the riverine part of the state. Yes, you must have some arrangement to accommodate the three senatorial districts. The argument is also valid that, oh, Rivers West went or produced a governor in Dr. Peter Dili. Rivers East produced governors in right on the Buchimikado Timiyamechi, Celestino Meha, and Nyeson Wiki. And, oh, Rivers Southeast is here to produce a governor. But if we're sensitive to our cultural uh, divide, you know, if we're, we're so this is historic, sensitive historical. to our cultural fault lines, okay. then we also need to accommodate the riverine adjust. Okay. And there are riverine adjust in that city, that district. All right. Um, 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 so, so some have pointed out also that um, even if you go down to the, the you know, tertiary institutions and how the youth even divide uh, positions in the in their organizations. It's been historically on on you know upland river Rhine accommodation or understanding. And some also pointed out even if you look at the positions of governor and deputy governor, it's always been like that. Is, is that, upland. Yeah, is that the situation and how um, does that really capture how it should be? Yeah but uh, that's already established that I said the era before now We've always played our politics along those cultural lines of upland river right? Acknowledging the fact that the jaws, you must be sensitive to the yearnings, aspirations, uh, and accommodation of the jaws. That's, that's established. I don't think there's anybody that disputes okay. that. Okay. That's one. Now, the second thing that we cannot fault is the fact that um, Senator District is more recent. Before now, the senatorial district was arranged in such a way that all the riverine edges were in one senatorial district. Okay. Then the upland edges were split in two, about two or three senatorial districts. 
But that has changed lately. And so this led to new dynamics. And as these dynamics evolve, we to must evolve our politics. We must be more sensitive. To the most important thing is accommodation inclusiveness. That's key. All right. All right. So, so, so this, this, this uh, must continue. Upland River Rhine, um, you know, sharing power and rotating power amongst themselves. That's the best no, way no, to do it. Well, the point I, I need to make is this. In Nigeria, we're, we're not going to have North-South divide forever. Okay. It's evolving. As our politics gets matured or democracy gets entrenched, what will be most critical will be the credibility, will be the competence, will be the character of candidates. Mm -hmm. And I believe that that's the kind of thing that will also evolve in rivers. Okay. It will get to a point where it wouldn't matter whether you are river line or upland, whether you are southeast, southwest, west, or east, it will become a material. It will get to a point where the most important thing for consideration will be the fact that you've got capacity, you've got the right vision, you've got the competence, you've got the character, you've got the track record to right. turn around rivers and put rivers on the path of growth. I think that's critical. Interesting. Today, uh, yeah. if you look at the data, it's not anything to cheer about. Okay. Whether data on security, you know, we are one state with high unemployment rates. That's okay. why the fact that we're the oil and gas capital of the country. All right. Now, we're one state that our educational statistics are literally on the negative. Is this been through, through the years or just in recent years? In recent. Okay. Of recent. All right. Okay. Um, 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 interesting. Uh, Dr. the Cuckoo Peter side. Um, uh, if if, if a, the, the agreement from that meeting uh, as captured in the communique, uh, you know, by the 10 governorship aspirants on the platform of the APC, is to be um, implemented. Of course, you have to go around and consult with, with, with stakeholders of the APC. And you've said it here, that that consensus uh, communique and then the, uh, the agreement reached, you know, to, to zone the governorship ticket to the River Rani Joe part of River State comprising 10 local government areas uh, is, is not one that is one is from the party. But, it's not binding on everybody. But, but, it's binding but, on the 10 of us, 10 of us that good, endorsed good. that document. So, so it means that the, we going forward... Any other person who wants to aspire, you're free, free to aspire. So, so going forward, it means that there might be some, some sort of consensus candidate. Coming. Amongst the 10 of us. Yes, yes. Fantastic. But um, uh, what happens if, if that is not achieved? Of course, we're aware of the... Uh, it will definitely be achieved. We've okay. already signed. We've already endorsed it. And we did that willfully. We are not compelled by anybody, not by the leader of the party, not by anybody. Okay. Out of our own volition, we decided to come together, call ourselves progressive aspirants, decided that by some consensus arrangement, only one of us will run. But, but, but you, you, your, your colleague and friend, um, uh, you know, in, in all, let me say, party member, um, um, Senator Magnus Abbey, he said that uh, there is, uh, I just want to quote his words, or the words, the report, it says that um, the constitution of the party does not provide for the emergence of a, a consensus candidate. Well, um, I don't think that's absolutely correct. Okay. okay. Um, the latest amendment to our constitution, in line with the provisions of the Electoral Act, made provision for consensus. That's the latest amendment oh, really? to our constitution. The okay. amendment that was affected in the last convention. But that's not the issue. Even with a consensus arrangement, you will still present yourself for primaries. You can choose because consensus means that everyone who is aspiring must sign jointly that we agree to this decision. Okay. And so if 10 of us all have agreed that we agree to a consensus, and you, Kofi Bater, say, I'm not in agreement with that consensus, you have right to go and aspire. So Go, going by the new electoral act. Not just electoral act. Okay. That's the meaning of consensus. Meeting of minds. So you can choose not to be part of our consensus arrangement. Okay. So we we'll finish in our own arrangement amongst ten of us. Present one person. Kofi Bata said, I'm not part of your consensus arrangement. I'm supported by the constitution of the country, supported by the constitution of our party. I put myself forward. And as you put yourself forward, it is for the delegates to choose between the a person who emerged from the consensus arrangement or you 
Kofi Battle, who is running solo. Interesting. Uh, uh, I don't know if you get the message. Yeah, definitely. And so, the fact that we have a consensus arrangement does not stop other persons from aspiring. Okay. okay. But, of course, the people have the <laughs> final say. The ultimate choice yeah. belongs to the people. Um, the All Progressives Congress in River State has, um, has refused, let me not say uh, intentionally, but has not been able to get itself out of the, the situation it found itself in. Of course, we know that in 2019, the party was not on the ballot. Uh, we know the plethora of court cases, the plethora of parallel chairmen that have been have emerged from the party. Um, has the party finally gotten its house together under one leadership that will not be stopped? Now, uh, I can say this to you. I don't think there's been any dispute about right on the to Amici being leader of the party. I don't think there's any dispute. But we're talking about the chairman and now, the state Now, currently, ability. today, I don't think... There is either a case in court or anything challenging the election of Chief Emeka Beke as state chairman of our party. I'm not aware okay. of either a court case, a petition, or anything, anything at all, anybody challenging. So you're, you're sure the what election. happened in 2019 cannot repeat itself? I am not God. I'm human. Okay. <laughs> I'm not God. All right. But to the best of my knowledge, I don't believe that what happened in 2019 can repeat itself. The indicators are not there. The signals are not there. Because we, I think we're a lot more organized. Yeah. We're more united. Because we're we, more focused. We've had we've had than ever. several parallel chairmen. I mean, Wogu Bombs is there. We have the likes Wogu of Wogu has never laid claim to being chairman of the party. But, but at a point, he was. Um, he went to the national. He, yeah. uh, he aspired yes, to be yes. national vice chairman South South, and actually contested. Okay. But he was not elected. Well, we, ha we have the likes of Golden Choma, and there's a certain gentleman whose name doesn't come to mind. Um, Golden picked up for uh, me. He uh, wanted to contest for chairman of the party, but did not contest, ultimately. All right. And the other gentleman, whose name I can't remember, uh, the one before Golden, who had to step aside. But anyway, so, so you're saying everything is now settled in the APC in River State. You know, the way it works in politics, and I'm sure you know, even in families. Now, peace and unity is a process. We will not get to a time where we say in Nigeria, everybody's united behind the president or, be, be, or united behind the government. It is usually a work in progress. And I believe that reasonably, the All Progressive Congress in reverse it is united and that we're very focused right. on winning the next election. You know, many people have realized that their hope today lies with the All Progressive Congress. We've experienced bad governance in the past seven years. It's never been this bad as a state. We've never had it this bad. Okay, J just before we go, um, you're back in the running uh, to be the governor of River State like you were in 2015. Uh, how different is Dakoko Adol Peter Side, the candidate, from 2015 to Dakoko Adol Peter Side, the prospective candidate uh, of 2023? Well, Dakoko Peter Side of 2015 is different from the Kuku Peter side of 2023 in four key dimensions. Okay, okay. This is a man who is deeply more experienced than before. By 2019, I've not served, at uh, 2015, I had not served as chief executive of the regulatory agency. Today, I've served as chief executive of the regulatory agency. So, Apart from understanding how the executive arm of government functions and the legislative arm, I've served at the federal level, at the agency level. I've also played at the international scene. I was chairman of the Association of African Maritime Administrators, and that's a global scene. I understand now the relationship between subnationals and supranationals. That I understand clearly. So that's one. A man who is deeply more experienced. The second is that you now have a man who is more passionate than ever. Because I've seen River State flourish. I've seen good leaders in River State. I've seen very bad leaders. Let's not, leaders let's not, we don't have time. <laughs> self, selfish. Okay. Leaders whose only preoccupation is primitive acquisition of wealth. Leaders whose understanding of uh, development is brick and mortar. Who are you referring leaders, to? I'm not referring to anybody. I'm going to say I've seen two eras. Golden era of rivers. All right. And I've seen the dark ages of rivers. That, now, that, that has side. fired my passion. All right. And more than ever, I am desirous of making a difference. 
not just for today, for the sake of posterity. All right. We, we, we have That's to, the second way. We have to leave that. that. Um, there's a difference between Dakuku of 20, 2015 right. and Dakuku of 2023. I'm, I'm, now, I'm afraid we just we have to leave it at that. Um, if I allow you, we'll go on and on and on. Uh, uh, Dr. Peter said we thank you for your time. We're monitoring affairs and activities in River State, and I'm sure we'll have you here. Uh, Rivers is a volatile or a strategic so, so state. I don't know what a strategic state in Fantastic. the country. Fantastic. And that, that's the much you can take.